everyone. Welcome to today's episode. We ran out of content. It's one of those things that happen when you've been quarantined for months and months and not really able to shoot any content. So one of the things that we remembered we had was that Robin had been video journaling the construction of our home in Los Angeles. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that this is something that's been going on for the better part of three years, different phases of it anyway. We just decided to turn it into some cool videos because you guys have all been asking me how the construction's going. So this is part one. I don't even know what it is. A little bit of demo. We're gonna give you a lay of the land. A year ago, how full of hope I was. <laughs> it's a year later. It's still happening. Welcome to Casa de Katie. Let me give you a little tour. Such a tour. This is my lumber. This is my front door. Oh, hi. Funny to see you here. I'm really into this open concept, as you can see. I like what we've created. I also like that we're covering holes with cardboard. That's not false sense of security or anything. Oh, these are my steel beams. See? Yeah. On a serious note, <laughs> welcome to my house. These are my new windows. Oh, I'm excited. This is the living room. So at some point, this is gonna be just a big open concept. Cause if you look that direction where that insulation is, this is all brand new. So we're blowing out this whole thing. So it's gonna be just a big, huge great room, if you will. This isn't a wall. This is this this is holding up the second story right now because we've ripped everything out. So these columns are not going to be here, obviously. So this wall is going to be gone. That wall is going to be gone, and everything's basically going to be a box at the back. This is the kitchen. Now I'm in my pantry. Sorry, we only have a microwave. <laughs> That's also a kitchen, that way. You are standing in sort of just an entry. Like this is like a huge island, sort of like right here. It's like a real big island. And over there, that new addition is sort of the dining room. Um, only one dining room, because, you know, nobody really uses a formal dining room. So I had one in my old house and I ate in there one time in 10 years. So, don't need one. So the back of the house, real cool. I'm using La Cantina doors. La Cantina doors are like the original amazing doors. When you see a whole wall open up in those sliding doors, those are La Cantinas. So this whole wall is gonna be a big La Cantina door. This whole wall here is gonna be a La Cantina door. I'm standing right now dining room and that so this whole wall plus there's a service window in the kitchen are all gonna be La Cantina doors which I'm super excited about that was one of those things that was budgeted on my wish list that I was really excited about so yay so basically the whole back of the house is getting popped up so it's even this is getting popped out downstairs and upstairs this is a guest bedroom that will have door right here so it's gonna be bigger not a La Cantina door more cost-efficient door for this bedroom here but that's gonna be looking at it a pool I know you can't tell right now but use your imagination and upstairs the addition upstairs that's gonna just be a bathroom for that bedroom so I'm really excited you know when I bought this house it was a four bedroom home with two bathrooms that's it, which, you know, granted, that's it is a strange term to use, but you know, how many toilets did you, do you need? But I really wanted to utilize the floor plan, blow some stuff out. There was no laundry room. I really wanted a laundry room. And this was sort of like my forever home. So I really wanted to sort of make it 
livable forever, which is one of the reasons why there's a second master downstairs. So when I'm old and gray and I can't do stairs, I can move downstairs. So the house, when all said and done and finished, will be four bedrooms and three and a half bath and a laundry room. So we're adding about 506 square feet of roof space, so new roof space, but approximately a thousand square feet of the interior. So not getting any more bedrooms, but getting more bathrooms and a laundry room and a pool. We've come a long way with this though. I wish you could see what we had to do, but these were like eight foot deep pits where we had to tear out all of the old foundation. Just jackhammering my poor neighbors. I had a neighbor tell me I was the worst neighbor ever. Sorry, you're not a very good neighbor. And I was like, them are fighting words, lady. I'll punch a bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I felt really bad. It was 14 days of jackhammering, literally from 7 a.m to 3 p.m. every day. You might be able to see it if you come over here. Nope, they have filled it in with dirt, but this is all new. That was approximately 10 feet deep, between six and 10 feet. It was a lot. It's been backfilled with dirt now, but not a foreseeable expense. <laughs> so to make up that expense that we didn't anticipate, my boyfriend and his brother and I did all the demo ourselves. So that guy, that cute guy. Wait, let me, that guy and his brother. We did all the demo. Got some reinforcements here today. Quick off. Yeah. <laughs> We're still missing some of the demo actually just because we didn't want it falling down into the pit because every time it fell down then you had to get the concrete out which is so heavy. I'm so excited. We're getting there but in the meantime we've been living back there in our little guest house. If you follow me. Oh hey guys. This is where we've been living. This is the main reason that I fell in love with this house. So to find this much property on the west side of Los Angeles is unheard of. And this is sort of, you know, a one bedroom house that we live in right now. I've been back here for almost three years and it's perfect. I don't think it feels the size that it is. It's a thousand square feet. Because of the yard, the dogs can go in and out, but this is sort of what we've been doing. <laughs> it's gonna be great though, slow and steady. So that's where the house was a year ago. And next week's episode, is it next week's or are we doing a live Q&A next Ooh. week? Let's just call it next video. <laughs> next video will be all about where we're at midway through. Come back and watch that. And I promise I'll come up with some new content. I'm gonna shoot an episode all by myself without Robin. Ooh. I'm going to, it's gonna be awful. <laughs> we have really, tried to test our relationship in the first few years. Yeah, building a house together, doing a pandemic together. Now we just need a baby. Next episode. Next episode, Katie has a baby. It's that easy. <laughs>